Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Bangun guys, wherever you are uh, Come back again on my video In this occasion, I want to tell you about uh, ELT English Language Teaching But before I explain about that I, uh, I should uh, what do do? I should tell you again uh, from my name, of course, because this is uh, assignment for the new subject uh, in my semester. Okay, my name is Ilham Panawaf, and my friends usually call me Ilham, and I'm from 60, of course, in this education department of Wenka. And yeah, my student number Okay, here I want to yeah I want to explain about a role of teacher in English language teaching or usually called in the global world most of the communication is done in English. It means that all of the people around the world use English as the communication language uh, yeah, even in, in home, in school, in society they are uh, prefer use English for the communication <coughs> uh, especially as the medium of teaching of course as everyone knows that it is comprehensive or worldwide language where the person globe is forging ahead by connection itself where the person uh, to other for carrying out their harmonious relationship it connected to classroom teaching uh, it plays a very significant role in engrossing the students attention okay. See about part number one. Uh, teacher as a learner. What does it mean? Teaching and learning is a continuous process, and where strategies may differ with the moving generation. Now, so teacher can move as the learner. So teacher can be a learner. Uh, what is it? Like a student, learner, know, knowing, yeah, like that. So, uh, we go to the next. The teacher as a facilitator. This is important. Uh, it's very significant that students should sense that their teacher's concern about them and the teacher should become the best facilitator to the students in all the aspects. So, the teacher should be a facilitator not only in the students who are get some special score but all of the students that teachers teach. Was teach yeah. Uh, yeah. As a facilitator, of course, it's to direct and support students in learning for themselves as a self-explorer. Go to the next. Now, teacher as an assessor. As a teacher, uh, assessing is one of the important tools for extracting students to looking for the student's ability, especially in some subject that uh, ended English. Uh, yeah, besides that, of course, testing students' knowledge by giving continuous feedback. So, uh, for the assessor itself, the teacher to, uh, to not giving uh, some score, just some score, but also the teacher should give a feedback for the students. What's the purpose? To evaluate the student's ability, to evaluate the students' uh, improving uh, how their English well or not. 
teacher as a manager. Teacher's role as a manager is very significant and imperative role in managing a class. A teacher has to play well, yeah, in advance regarding handling classes with in stipulated time. Teacher as an evaluator. This is a uh, what's it? The continuous from the teacher as an assessor. Assessor. Uh, yeah. As everyone is aware, that evaluation plays a prominent role to a teacher's success. Evaluation is a subjective process which is related to academy. So this is uh, the key for the teacher to to teaching students well by the evaluator. They evaluate the evaluate uh, the students, but um, I suggest that the teacher should evaluate uh, one by one. I mean. Uh, you know, uh, a person, a person by person, uh, one by one. Yeah. Uh, purpose is to push down, especially the bullying that uh, students get from their friends when they are get they, when they are got some evaluating from the teacher. Thank you. That's all my explanation about English language, language teaching. Uh, yeah. And thank you for listening my video. Thank you for watching my video. And yeah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.